So even if you add that, you're still gonna be saving money, plus you're traveling the world. That sounds like a great deal to me. Take two. Hi, thank you so much for clicking on this video. You're interested in studying abroad? Awesome, because I'm gonna show you three countries that you can study abroad in for even less than if you studied in your home state in the US. And before you click away thinking, oh, I don't speak any other language than English, I can't go anywhere, don't worry, because lots of countries have university programs that teach in English, that are English medium programs. So everything's gonna be in English. I'm Michi. I'm a fourth year PhD student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. I'm in second language studies, that's my program, and I'm an international student. I was born and grew up in Germany, and I'm here to study abroad. In this video, I'm gonna compare costs like tuition, accommodation, transportation, that's it, for you across country so that you have a nice overview of which places to go and where you would be spending the least money. And usually to get into these schools, to get into these programs, you have to apply for a full bachelor's or full master's program. There's no application fee, so you can definitely do that. Or usually for most universities, there's no application fee. I know here in the US it can be something between $50 or up to, I don't know, $150 for each school. That accumulates fast if you're trying to get into schools. You don't have any of that in the schools or in the countries that I'm gonna mention here. And if you think you only want to go there for a semester or two semesters abroad, you don't wanna spend your whole bachelor's or your whole master's there. Don't worry about that because you can just talk to your academic advisor in your home country or in your home state at your school, ask them which classes do you think will be the most likely to be transferable to your transcript, your major, your program. And then you go to the countries that I'm gonna list in a second and you take those classes, get your transcript there, also doesn't cost anything, bring it back home and you can tell them which classes you wanna have transferred. So as long as you're transparent about it with your academic advisor at home, there should be no problem just doing your study abroad on your own without using a program or anything because doing it on your own is a lot cheaper as you'll see. Do you wanna get started? Number three, I'm gonna go up with decreasing costs so that spot number one or place number one is gonna have the least cost. You're gonna be saving the most money compared to going to school in your home state. Place number three is Slovenia. I don't know if you've heard of Slovenia before, it's not the most known country, but it's a super beautiful country. It has lots and lots of nature and it has beautiful cities too, beautiful architecture. And it has great universities that teach programs in English, which is awesome. That's just what you want. So in Slovenia, unfortunately, if you're not from an EU country, if you don't have an EU passport, you're gonna have to pay tuition. That tuition can be anything between $2,000 and $20,000. I know that's a huge range, so you probably wanna go for the lower end. You probably don't wanna go to the universities that ask $20,000 a year, but adding everything up, accommodation costs that are super low in Slovenia and the transportation costs, it should still be a great deal going to Slovenia to study abroad compared to studying in your home state. So adding to those $2,000 to $20,000 that you have to pay every year, you're gonna have to pay about $300 for accommodation, including water, including electricity, including internet, including all of those things, living in Slovenia. And actually, $300 is on the higher end. So if you're not necessarily gonna live in the most popular biggest city, then you should get away with a lot less than that. And then don't worry about living a little bit further away from the cities because transportation is usually public transportation and that's actually gonna be the same for all of the three countries that I'm gonna mention today. Public transportation is super accessible, super easy to use and pretty cheap. So for any kind of transportation needs, in Slovenia, you're gonna pay about 10 to $20 a month and you're good. You don't have to pay for gas, you don't have to pay for car insurance, you don't have to pay for the car, you don't have to pay for a parking pass. All of that is covered just by reliable 
and widespread public transportation that they have in Slovenia. So if you add everything up in Slovenia to study abroad for one year, you're gonna come out to anything between $5,700 and $23,800. I know that's a super wide range. We talked about it before, tuition might be $20,000, might be $2,000. So the more towards the lower end you are there, the less the costs are going to be for your whole study abroad. But you're probably not going to spend above $23,000 in Slovenia. And we're going to compare that to what the annual costs of studying at your average home state college or home state university are so that you can see how much you would be saving by studying abroad in the countries that I'm mentioning. So let's go into number two. Place number two in this list is Germany. So in Germany, tuition is luckily free for anyone. Whether you're born in the EU or not, whether you have a European passport or not, anyone can study in Germany for free, which is awesome if you want to study abroad, obviously. However, accommodation can get a little bit more expensive than in Slovenia or a lot more expensive than in Slovenia. In Germany, you have to expect costs between $400 and $1,000 a month just for accommodation. But that that includes electricity, water, internet, things like that. So same thing here, if you're gonna live in the big cities, in the popular cities, in the cities like Munich, Berlin, Cologne, you're gonna be towards the higher end. Also, same thing here, public transportation is very accessible, very reliable. You can live further away from the cities, spend less on accommodation costs, and spend about $200 a semester for transportation costs. And those transportation costs actually are paid by everyone who's a university student. They're usually part of your university fee that you have to pay every semester. So you usually pay a semesterly fee even though you don't pay tuition, like in the US, and it's to pay for the student government, to pay for the rec center, and in Germany that's also to pay for public transportation. And I think the fees are about 200 to $300, really not more than $300 a month, uh, a semester not a month, a semester. But yeah, about $200 of that is usually for your public transportation ticket that takes you anywhere you want, not only to your school. It has usually a very wide radius of where you can go, no matter how often, in a day. Yeah, you get the point. There is one limitation though, for studying in Germany, you will have to choose an international program. So if you look up university programs in Germany, make sure to look for international programs in Germany because universities offer regular programs and international programs. In the regular programs, you'll need to prove that you speak German because those programs are gonna be in German. If you don't already happen to know German, don't worry about it because there's lots and lots of high quality international programs that are also free and that are going to be in English. So for Germany, the total costs here are on average anything between $5,200 and up to $12,400. So that's already an improvement to Slovenia and I'm going to show you guys later also an improvement to studying in your home state. But let's have a look at place number one. Okay, place number one is Iceland. Iceland is an excellent country to live in, to study in. They are often ranked as the safest place on earth, the happiest place on earth, or the country with the highest quality of life. So definitely a place you might want to live in. Just like Germany, they have free tuition for anyone, whether you're born in the EU or not, whether you have a European passport or not, anyone can study there for free. And even though Iceland is also not known as a country with low cost of living, they are even a tiny bit cheaper than Germany in that. So accommodation is probably going to be anything between $500 and $700 for water, electric, internet, everything. And then transportation again, public transportation, very reliable, is probably going to be how you get around places, how you get to your friends' houses, to university, to your own house, to the city, anywhere you want to go. And that is also around $10 to $20 a month. So for Iceland, we're gonna be at a grant total of $6,200 to $8,600. So wow, 
we cut off a lot again compared to Germany for the cost of attending school abroad. So let's have a look at what I promised you earlier, the average cost for going to school in your home state. In the US, the annual average cost for going to a university are $24,800 a year. $24,800 a year for going to school in your home state versus on place number three, $5,700 to $23,800. Again, just go for the lower range here and you'll be saving lots and lots of money. Actually, you're gonna be saving exactly $970 to $19,000 going to school abroad in Slovenia compared to going to school at home. Place number two, Germany. Compared to the $24,800 that we have up here, we're gonna be spending $5,200 to $12,400. So compared to this, we're gonna be saving $12,400 to $19,600. Can you imagine saving $19,600 just for going to school abroad every year? And now let's have a look at place number one. For going to school in Iceland, you're only gonna pay between $6,200 and $8,600. Compared to going to school in your home state, you're gonna be saving $16,100 to $18,500. So as you can see, even if you have to add $2,000 per plane ticket, we're going every year, $4,000 if you wanna go twice a year, and usually plane tickets can be cheaper than that. I go to school in Hawaii if I go to Germany I pay around $1,500 and I know people that go to even further away places have to pay up to $2,000 so even if you add that you're still gonna be saving money plus you're traveling the world that sounds like a great deal to me and then maybe just one last note to add you usually pay for health insurance in the US too so I don't exactly know what the costs are there but if you want to add health insurance in Europe as an international student you have to add about $200 every month to the price that I already mentioned. But that's also not included in this price, so you would have to check what your current health insurance is and what it would be if you were a student, in case you're not. So yeah, I hope this video was informative for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. I hope it sparked your interest to go study abroad. If you know of any other countries that you have looked into that you want to let everyone know, please put it in the comments. If you want me to research another country, definitely also let me know and I'll do that. If you have any questions, you can also put that in the comments, but you can also message us on Instagram. The description has our Instagram links, so just send me or Alexa is a private message there and I'll help you guys with anything that you need help with related to studying abroad and please please subscribe to our channel if you like this video and if you want to see other videos um, that are similar or that are about our life as PhD students in Hawaii about my life as an international student and also give this video a like or share it with a friend that you think might enjoy learning about studying abroad too thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next video you click on. Goodbye. <laughs>